What's going down, guys? How's it going? This is TK coming at you. And um, <clears throat> this morning, I want to drop some key information for those of you who uh, <clears throat> follow my post or even listen to or consider what I have to say. You know, with me living in Kuwait, uh, my location and the nature of how much effort I put into business development leads me into situations where sometimes people share information with me. So uh, typically, uh, based on the way people are conditioned in this world, it's your ego and your uh, lack of strong character development that leads you to uh, be very negative and dismissal towards what someone else in this world has experienced, has to offer, and uh, determines how much credibility you give to someone else's life experience. So, the pseudo uh, false reasons that the world gives you for trusting someone is based on a paradigm shift that most people don't even realize has shifted. The traditional American paradigm is to uh, excel in the public school system which is designed to help you memorize things and regurgitate it based on what they tell you to memorize. Which then ensures that you become a perfect follower, employee, and completely unable to independently think, or more importantly, critically think. So once you master the school system and you get a degree, then you get a perfect employee job. And in to, uh, today's 21st century job market, you're guaranteed about uh, four and a half years to have that job before you're unemployed and having to uh, start all over again. So within the four and a half years of searching for an, or, or having a job and then searching for a new job, you are expected to pour your paper money into more paper money and quote unquote beat the high frequency trading machines and the market manipulation so that you can make a equity gain with certain stock. That's the paradigm that has shifted that most people refuse to even acknowledge doesn't work. So then if you do that, all I just explained for 40 years, you get 40% of your pay and Social Security if it's still around. So, okay, we won't acknowledge that that doesn't work. We won't look at the fact that that paradigm is gone. And we refuse to open our minds enough to realize that there are higher forms of money and that there are different forms of currency. So if, if we get into these accurate definitions and we start doing this separation, you have Gold money, silver money, and then alternative currency. And then all of those together give you the option for international diversification, for becoming your own bank, for setting up an inflation-proof hedge, And more importantly, to 
set up a situation where your money works harder for you than you work for your money. You actually give your money a full-time job. And that's been my concentration point because that's what I'm trying to accomplish for myself. So my way of helping other people, because when you're in the money business and you're actually offering money as a product, this is what upsets me so much about people because people say I'm a salesman. People say I'm only out for myself. I'm offering you money as a product. So I'm helping you whether you are smart enough to understand that or not. My product is money. My result is financial insurance. So what I'm giving you is something that will financially put you in a different league as opposed to the paper holders that are around you. So if you call me just a salesman, two things. I'm doing this for myself. And the way I tend to recruit is through example to show you what I have accomplished for myself and then give you the option, the choice to do it in your own life. So getting back to my original statement, I get on these passionate tangents because of the fact that nobody listens, nobody cares. Everybody feels like they know it all and they dismiss what somebody else has to offer as if you can't learn from a two-year-old. Anyway, the point that I originally make in this video is that because of the fact I live in Kuwait, I'm privy to some uh, important information based on how I've positioned myself. So, like one of the uh, members in our gold group, uh, Dr. China, she says, you know, I'm a member of a, uh, I'm an ambassador, a global ambassador, which entitles me to certain information that other people are not. So I'm using her as an example just to say that some people actually have access to things that you do not. And their position, and in my case, my location and my position allows me to have access to some information that you don't. Now, I'm not privy to share this information with you, but what I want to point out is that the date that is significant is the 19th of April. Now, one thing that I just posted on Facebook is that in correlation to the 19th of April, there's an announcement from the Shanghai Exchange, which if you've been paying attention in the gold market, China has stepped up to set the gold price. It used to be set by the LBMA, which some things have come out in terms of their price fix not being based on supply and demand. So the China gold fix, based on the accumulation China has done in the physical metal, is now going to be based on supply and demand. So I just posted the link on the Facebook that says uh, April 19th, is a significant day because the Shanghai Exchange is going to make an announcement. So with that being said, not necessarily telling you the other information I have about April 19th, what I'm telling you is the date is significant. And what I'm suggesting to you in relation to what has been put out with the Shanghai Exchange and the information that I know about that came from a very trusted, reliable inside source I'm going to tell you that you really need to position yourself internationally with alternative forms of money higher forms of money in order to survive in the 21st century you need to have international banking international savings accounts And those savings accounts need to be out of paper. So I'm going to give you a small example. I have an international gold savings account. I have a silver savings account. And I have, (coughs) excuse me, a 
cryptocurrency account. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Hopefully this helps somebody out there.